Hi everyone, we are at Dimdex 2024 in Doha, Qatar. I am now with Avelzan to focus on the Advent Combat Management System. I am pleased to meet with Denis Dumlu, Engineering Director for Naval Command and Control. Mr. Dumlu, good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for visiting our booth. We are very happy to be with you. Thank you for uh, having me. Uh, so you are an engineer and uh, you worked on the Advent uh, CMS. Can you please introduce this combat management system to us? Of course, thank you for giving me this opportunity. The Advent CMS uh, is like uh, the brain of a ship for the people that who doesn't know what a CMS does, but it's like the brain of a ship. It controls all the weapons and sensors, like the, uh, you know, all the sensors on board the ship. Uh, to guide the commander to the best decision and uh, to the best way to defend their country. So this is basically what a CMS does. Advent is making this, uh, all these functions like others, plus it has some additional features like network-centric capability, uh, like embedded tactical data links, uh, a very clever uh, AI-based uh, decision support system, and a different uh, identification and uh, uh, classification system which is based on AI uh, to provide a better solution uh, support to the commander for these purposes. Uh, it's been used in Turkey with the, on all of Turkish uh, Navy's platforms starting from the biggest one, the TCG Anadolu, which is the LHD type boat to the fast attack craft, small sizes including the frigates including the corvettes, including the OPVs, all sizes of boats could be uh, installed with uh, Advent. And its framework is so structured like that, it could be used for the network capability. It has been structured such that it could be used on land as well. Uh, for example, for the Turkish uh, integrated maritime surveillance system, the Advent system is used on land with special uh, functions embedded inside and um, which is seamlessly integrated with the ships which use Advent. Uh, also it is structured in, to be used in MPA aircraft, the same structure, so it will be seamlessly integrated to the land and to ships. And thirdly, it is also integrated on the unmanned surface vehicle that we have as an Anyonja shipyard has developed on board the platform. So from unmanned vehicles to flying MPAs to frigates to petrol boats, the Advent is the only solution in Turkey. That's highly unusual as far as I know anyways, that it's a very scalable solution and a multi-platform as well. It's uh, quite unusual for, uh, for a CMS. W what about uh, export? Uh, have you exported Advent uh, in the past? And uh, is, we are here in Qatar. Is it used here in Qatar? Uh, we have several customers worldwide. Uh, just to name our uh, customers, is Pakistan is one of our customers, Nigeria, Ukraine, um, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia uh, is our main customers. And now uh, recently Qatar Navy has become our customer because the Turkish shipyard De Arsan is building a fast attack craft for uh, uh, Qatar Emir Navy and we will be uh, providing advent combat management system uh, for this fast attack crafts. So in the future, when the number of uh, fleet uh, which uses Advent is increased in Qatar Navy, they will be exploiting this network enabled capability of Advent uh, like the other navies. Very well, Mr. Dumlu, that was uh, very clear. Thank you for your explanations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.